So Microsoft got infected with the same one. So they're all pretty much on equal ground right now. Um, basically that they're all weak. Um, I've tried to increase security as best as I could with all of them. Um, if, uh, if you find uh, that I missed something, don't be afraid to post um, a, vi a response in YouTube um, describing how I might have failed. Um, and I'll see what I can do to maybe retest. But uh, right now I'm just trying as maximum security on these free, simple antiviruses. Um, again, not much is expected with these. These are the lower grade of all of them. I'm just curious as to which one actually does good versus which one actually can't protect you. Um, or if they're all equal, who knows. Um, but uh, I generally rate these fairly lowly. Um, the best one that's in here would definitely be a vast on rating. So a lot of people use it, and uh, it does generally work um, for protection. But this is what this is here for. You know, We want to see, all right, here's a good example here. This is a fake antivirus. A lot of uh, programs will not detect these on purpose because they're not uh, they're not seen as being fra being a virus. They're just you know something you don't want. All right, so that didn't actually work. Yeah, so it's a uh, all right. Well. I'm going to test that one on all of them then because AVG seems to have found something in that. Alright, looks like a vast stopped it. Looks like a virus stopped it. And Microsoft Security Essentials. stop it. Alright, so sorry about that. That one wasn't really something I was going to largely test, but uh, since it did pop up on the uh, on the uh, um, oh, here's a good one. Since it did pop up on the AVG, I felt it were uh, something that I should test on the other ones. Alright, so let's test this. This is TDSS. Um, it's a root kit. It's kind of a fun one. Um, it looks like to be a dud. That one would have been a fun one. Let's try a, try another fake antivirus here. See if we can find this one. Because this one's uh, a good one. Let's try saving that to the desktop. Which this is AVG. It seems it has done. I'm gonna run that. Again, they're all running a little bit slow because they're all infected pretty much right now. Which it looks like AVG just got infected. No, okay, no, AVG stopped it, and that was a fake antivirus, so that's actually a little bit impressive in that sense. Um, and the same with Avast, Avast has blocked it. I'm going to try it in Antivir. Alright, Antivir has stopped that, see if I try saving it now, it won't. Give me an error, that's good. So, so far for the fake antiviruses, these are good, they're called rogues. Um, generally they're, uh, whoops. I'm just going to go clean computer on the uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. Because it popped up and said that. And uh, let's try the next one. That one really didn't do any. I'm I'm really going to hammer the fake antiviruses into these ones. I, w I really kind of am interested in seeing what uh what if any that they let through. Um, cuz these are ones that not all of them can detect. So let's try running that. That one looks like it actually did infect. Yep, it did. It's a fake uh, which one is it? Looks like it might be, uh, not too sure which one it is. I'm curious. It's XP Anti Malware is the fake antivirus name. And it looks like I can't even run Task Manager right now, which kind of sucks. It's going to make life a little bit tougher. 
Alright, uh, this is the last one I'm going to be testing today. Because it looks like it's going to do some damage to all of my, uh, <laughs> to all of my systems. Um, I just am curious as to see which one least affects this particular, um, system. These particular systems. Okay, here we are. We've finally got this up. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to look for that XP, um, antivirus that's in there. And just kill it, because otherwise it's going to kill me on this computer. And I want to actually test it. AVE is the name of the process. So I'm going to kill that. This is one that I've actually tested in the past. This one's not a fun one. Um, I'm going to have to probably move this file to, uh, to somewhere else um, in order to be able to use this, these computers. Um, I think any time that I open up an exe file, it will uh, it will actually uh, stop that and just open itself up. So it's it's going to reload itself instead of a fake antivirus. So, well, as a fake antivirus. So any executable that I run seems they're all being infected equally. Um, I'm not seeing any difference between them. Um, there it is there. So far they're all being infected. Let's see if Microsoft might be any different. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, so the exact same thing happened to Microsoft. Microsoft is known for being probably a little bit better, but it just takes forever for it to uh, come up. So um, let's uh, let's put these to the test. I'm going to keep uh, Task Manager alive um, just in case, and I'm going to be opening up uh, Malwarebytes Anti Malware, and we'll see if that fake antivirus opens instead, because that's what I expect, but maybe not. So let's just see what happens. Alright, looks like maybe malware bytes might be loading. Nope, it's a fake antivirus. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find out where it's located, this fake antivirus. I'm sorry, this video is probably going to be a little bit long because I'm going to have to do this times four. Um, but uh, I'm going to open the miscellaneous, um, open the process scan. I'm going to run it again, and it'll start running. We're looking for AVE, and we'll find out exactly where it is. Alright, there it is. Now I'm going to kill it. And that way I can find this. So, administrator local settings application data. I'm going to have to view hidden files and folders and system files as well. Actually, with this particular one, it hides it as a system file. Um, so, I'm just going to do that now. And I'm going to do the same thing amongst all of them at the exact same time. Alright. Alrighty, so we're getting to the bottom of this. So documents and settings, administrator, under local settings, application data, and there it is there. I'm going to move this to the desktop, okay, because this is my problem here. Okay, so I've done that for the AVG, again, documents and settings, administrator, local settings, uh, application data, move the AVE, whoops, sorry, move, yes, yes, there it is, 
All right, same thing here. Document 